Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. It is once again me, Zack, with another episode of Baroni. Oh god. Many boulders. Today we are starting into the uh, the temple floors, the sand labyrinth. And uh, you hear the faint crash of rolling boulders. I did, as soon as I spawned in, in fact. This area is where, as a goat man, I can begin to pop off a little bit bit more anyway. But that's my own slime. I thought it was an enemy for some reason. Oh hey, gold. But in this area we don't have to worry about as much in the way of Hey! His own blood will come up. We don't have to worry about Jesus Christ, there's so many dudes. Die! Okay. Uh, magic attacks and stuff. I need to put my own son to sleep. I was trying to hit this guy. Nope. Eh. Damn it. My slime's kind of fucked in here. There we go. You wait here. Okay, good god. So much shit has already happened. Uh, water breathing? It's not as relevant anymore. Point of fact. Uh, like that. Okay, so that's a cracked ring of warning. Very cool, but we have the boots now. Okay, Jesus Christ, I was just trying to explain that now that we're down here, there aren't quite as many mage enemies. There are still some, but there's not as many. And with the boots, we can now see where enemies are on the minimap as long as they're moving. The boots are in kind of a weird spot. I didn't really talk about this when I got them. But they're in kind of a weird spot where they're not actually as good as a real warning effect. Which, I had this, yeah. So like, there's somebody over there, which I was not able to see with the boots. Because the boots only show you when people are moving. Scarabs are very resistant to magic, but get absolutely bodied by any kind of melee. I think insectoids might resist blunt, or else my blunt skill is just pathetic, because I feel like I did not do very much damage to that guy. But I always forget insectoid. Nope. Uh, stats. We might try and dominate some more dudes this time. If we find, like, some trolls or something. Trolls are pretty common in these areas, but... On that. It's not super important. I do hear some goblins. Goblins in these areas can still spawn with their uh, insanely powerful fireball staffs. This is very ominous. Doesn't this feel like a trap? It wasn't. Another ring of magic resistance. We don't need it. We can only wear one ring. We, of course, only have one finger. Okay, so I believe that's a general store. Which would have been very cool, but... Oh, we do have a polymorph potion, actually. But... Okay, there's an exit. We're not going to use that exit. Should I... Hmm. Should I use the polymorph potion? That is the real question. I don't really think so. I kind of want to save the polymorph potion for the hammer. Good god, break. Okay. Um, I don't have a ring of might still. I do have remove curse though. So this is actually uh, good timing. I don't care about that one. Because now we can use that in the Sokoban trial. I have maxed out a praise. I don't need to pick up everything. I, I just do it out of habit. I need to focus on only picking up things that actually matter to me now. How's my weapon? That's worn. It's also worn. Bummer. Keep uh, sleep equipped. 
there is a secret area here. And I actually, I don't think I mentioned this before. If you mouse over the floor uh, up in the top right in your inventory screen, if you see pink words there like that, that means that there's a secret exit somewhere on the floor. That goes for the Gnomish Mines, it goes for Mine Town, it goes for uh, the place we're about to go, which is Sokoban. Stop. It goes for every, every single one of the secret exits, uh, which makes it easy to figure out. Oh, ah, God damn it! I don't want to deal with this man. At least not without getting a powerful hit on him first. See, there's a troll there. Bonk. Hey! Cease. I hear a goblin over that way. I can hear gold. I guess I'll check your chest plate. Nah. And your gloves. Slim chance that we will get upgrades for that stuff. Hello? Hello? I wish I had the unlock ass, but... Bonk, bonk, bonk. Okay, is that mace any good? Oh god, no. Okay, cool. Bonk, bonk. Okay, super terrible gloves. Love to see it. Eat the tamale. Okay. We have a decent amount of mana at all times now, but I would still really like to get ooh, spell book, to get the potato king and get sure what is that dash um i mean it's it's a new spell might as well i like learning as many spells as possible idiot rock falling into lava oh uh sorry <laughs> i walked past this without pointing it out this is the secret exit Bonk. So this leads us to the Sokoban Trial, which we'll head to here in a moment. But we don't have a Minotaur on us right now, so I would like to take advantage of this time. Oh my god. Okay, that's gigantic. We have a lot of good rings, though, is the thing. I should just try and use this uh, Charm Staff. I don't have enough alcohol to want to use this or to use that oh my slime just died that's fine slimes are easy to dominate and get some leadership levels off of which sounds deeply fucked up that. i don't know if i've drank one of those before i guess i have I like to drink potions the first time i get them to uh learn their ingredients and such but also scorpion but also because it can give you alchemy levels. Hello. Oh, that's the uh, the one I already looked at. Do I want to kill this shopkeeper? Kind of. It's a little bit dicey still, but... Oh. Goodbye. Hello. Poison-resist amulets don't come up crazy often, but... Insectoids do have a poison spell, so it's not like they're useless. I, d I just dropped that. Why did I look at it again? I do not remember where that troll was, but I wanted to try and charm him. Or her. Maybe it's a lady troll. You never know. <gasps> Thanks, bud. Stay. What the? It's cursed. Can I eat cursed ends? Okay, it was rotten, but I could eat it. It's good to know. Now. Cool dagger, but no. I see something moving over there. I don't really use the boots as much as I should. Much like most of League of Legends players, I struggle to use them to the minimap. Stop. Do I have any potions that I want to use on this guy? No, not really. Bonk, bonk. Damn it. Bonk. Heal up. Okay. Now. 
I don't believe that you can put shopkeepers to sleep, which is what would make attacking this man a little bit spooky. However, I do have plenty of magic resistance now. And if I was really worried about it, I could use the shield as well. That takes us up to 53. ourselves. Thing cool. It looks like he was a staff guy, not a general merchant. So this actually is kind of big, though. What this means is that we did not waste a polymorph potion uh, on a shop that wouldn't have had anything cool for us. Oh, actually, actually. trying to think ahead here because uh, we're gonna have to kill the minotaur soon and honestly having these staffs might be helpful Man. time to get the fuck out of here well actually not entirely true okay lots of rings of might that all happen to be cursed an area up here. I'm hearing these fountains. I like this area. This is nice. Normal glasses. I have blessed ones. But of course we can come over here. Ow. Fuck you. Uh, I'm gonna toss out torches and grab a couple. Uh, let's see here. We also should use up our shields. I kind of forgot we had something. No, no leaving. Okay, so the steel halberd doesn't really matter. Masquerade matters. Huh. There's two different things that give you neutrality to incubi and succubi. Mirror shield's kind of cool. I think it's a little bit overrated, personally, though. Oh, a potion of paralysis. Alright, the next dude I see gets hit with this one. That's a dick. That trap sucked. What the fuck? Uh, are there any more people moving about on the map? I'm, I haven't seen any for a bit. A lot of enemies don't move much, though, so it is possible that they just are hanging out somewhere. I have to be careful of the lava. I don't have maxed out swim skill yet. In fact, that might be a half decent idea. Nah, I won't worry about it right now. I'll just switch back to this. Head in here. You stay there. Now, we equip the Ring of Might. Honestly, I think we're going to ditch the Ring of Warning. We no longer really need it. We have a lot of very powerful rings now. Put that over there. So, there's no uh, combat here unless you fuck this up. I believe that every time you break a boulder here, it spawns a scorpion to attack you. But the idea is just to get rid of all the boulders. Now, one thing, I'm not 100% certain about this, actually. But I think that if you break all the boulders with a pickaxe... You still get the gloves, 
But, if you break the boulders instead of pushing them into the pit, you do not get access to uh, the gold. A whole bunch of gold spawns over there in the spawn room if you do this correctly. So I'm just going to do it right. It's not that difficult, though you can easily fuck it up and then be sad. But if you're careful and you look at the minimap a lot, it's not too difficult. And there's a lot of different ways to solve it. I'm not sure what the fastest way is. I don't know if anybody has ever cared to figure out the fastest way. Though there probably is a most efficient route that you can take. I'm just going to try and keep it fast for you guys. Watching me push boulders. I believe if I push this one, I'm going to be safe. Yeah. I'll clear out this area first, so just for my own peace of mind. Honestly, I think it's kind of difficult to completely fuck up this puzzle. But, you never know. Probably by saying that, I've doomed myself to ruin it at some point. That would be pretty typical. There we go. It used to be in this game that if your strength got to like 5 or something, I don't remember exactly what it was, it would allow you to push boulders just passively. But that is no longer the case. You need either potions of might, which we got from the other secret area, if you remember, or a ring of might. Now, I prefer to use the ring of might and then hold on to the potions of might for like a boss fight or something like that. But it is up to you which you prefer. It's honestly not too difficult to finish this in the time allotted by the potions, in my opinion. I forget exactly how long they each last, but it's, it's definitely long enough that you can solve this whole puzzle and be good to go. Torch. So of course we have the The Jin's Bracers, alright? So they're not as good as they could be right now, and it is going to kind of suck to lose a little bit of that dexterity. But, this takes us to 30% if we then apply our ring, 53, and then if we equip the shield, we get to 65% magic resistance, starting from negative 40. And as you can see here, we get all this gold, which we're already doing pretty good on gold, and we have no way of spending it currently, but the hamlet is a new day that we will hopefully get to see. Who knows, though. It's going to be a bit interesting. I've never tried to fight uh, the Minotaur with, you know, very few dominated allies. But we'll see, right? So that got us to, you know, almost 9,000 gold, which is pretty decent for just solving a puzzle. that's it. Like I said, a bit of a bummer to leave those gloves behind with the plus two decks, but a tiny, tiny, tiny speed boost. In fact, we can see here how much of a speed boost have we lost from this. I would be curious to know. So, currently we were at 14.5, equip this, and we go up to 17. So it's a 3% move speed difference for us. A lot of times you won't have such good gloves, though, and this is a pure upgrade. Eventually we can get a scroll of repair or something, and we'll repair our artifact stuff. It'll go up to four armor each, uh, making it quite good. We also have an enchant weapon scroll, but we could get enchant armor scrolls, which would be pretty dope. So let's head through to the next floor. Okay, yeah, I kind of figured that we would get... This is not the Minotaur level. As you can see there, there's no pink words. Honestly, I'm kind of down to abandon this place as quickly as possible. Nah, fuck this, actually. I ain't about that life. I'm going over here. Uh, worthless glass, very good, my favorite. Uh, cheese, don't care. Spike trap, a ring. Rings are good, that one's not. Spellbook. Hell yeah, Spellbook of Opening, gigantic, massive, huge. Ring of Levitation. Aw. Uh -oh. Did he just call me Nefarious? Bruh. That's rude. Probably. Alright. Got a 
find the exit here. Might not find the exit. I have to uh, stand and fight. We can probably kill the Minotaur brute force in it. I don't really want to have to, though, is the thing. I want to fight him on my own terms. So now you can see here, you hear the distant sound, sorry, distant roar of a hungry minotaur. So this is where things are going to get a bit dicey. Because the secret floor goes to the minotaur's maze. And that could be a run ender, because we're going to try and kill him. Yes, come this way. find a couple more trolls that'll help a bit. Oh, a staff of digging. Okay. Um. Shut up. Uh. Nice, thanks. You stay here though. That ain't good. It is blessed. Mine is not, but what about the boots? There is a chance we can find better boots, by the way. Uh, because the artifact boots are just kind of mediocre. There are water walking as well as levitation boots. Sounds like there's a lot of goblins in here. what it sounds like. Decrepit maze. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. We have unlocked. Wait, what type of weapon do you have? I need to get my block up. Okay. A fish. Of course it's a fish. Where's the lever for this? Whatever, you know what I mean. Bonk, bonk, bonk. They <laughs> always paralyze me, right? As I'm about to get off the last bonk. Okay. And... So now, actually, uh, so now, hit me. Okay. That got us very close to maxing out our blocking. Which is pretty massive, for sure. One more uh, round with a couple of shields, and uh, we will be good to go. down a big heel for him. There we go. Grab that mace. It's a torch. Take that gold. Alright. 
need maces. We are low on maces. That is for sure. through and pick out the stuff that's the most important. Which, uh... Those are not. Those are for the moment. I think I might honestly get rid of the gems. Oop, not my luck stone. I wanted the luck stone. Give. Give. Fine. Okay. Gotta finish the game with the luck stone. That's all. So let's see here. We do not need. Well, we could just drink this, I guess. We need that. We don't really need those, but. I'm probably going to be using this one up very soon. I don't want that on my hotbar. Uh, hold up. We could just drink this. None of that stuff is that important. Don't really care. If we get another backpack, very cool. If not, it's fine. I don't even know why I looked at the helmet. There we go. So the best thing about the opening spell is you are no longer restricted by the gates. You can just walk through them, not have to worry about it. God, I thought that was a scorpion, but it was a dude the whole time. Okay, I cannot tell you to do anything, so... Have a big heal and good luck, I guess. There we go. Slimes have healed up a bit. I was hoping that was a spell book. I could really use a few more spells. Okay, so there's the normal. Wait, was that a dude? No, oh, that was a wall. I thought that was a person's foot. Okay, back to the entrance. Go this way. I see that man walking. fine because that's leadership levels. Fucking rude. Okay, there we go. That's everything. I mean, that got us a level. That's fine. The leadership levels will be good too because I need 40 to control that guy. Though he will be dying on the next floor, assuming he lives that long. So I wouldn't get too attached to the, to the bug. He is doomed. I might be doomed as well. I guess I can, even though they can penetrate the block a little bit. It's not really hurting very much, you know. My bug guy go. Okay. okay. Bonk, 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 bonk. Grab the boot. 
boots. Oh, the boots suck. Goodbye, boots. I'll just drink one of those. We've got plenty of them for the moment. Alright, secret exit is here. We get another mace. We really need those because we're going through them very rapidly for some reason. Never mind, it sucked. Eat that, though. Oh, damn. I got another eat cans achievement. See, now this... Boots of Feather, arguably better than the ones we've got. I'm not going to lie to you. Hey there. Sorry about that. Potion of extra healing. Okay, bad noises all around. Just going to ignore that. See, I ignored it and I lived. Lamb with celery, huh? Okay, scroll of enchant armor, that's pretty big, actually. Uh, we're relatively safe over here, I think. So, what do I want? I don't want that. I kind of want this. No, 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 I'll get better than this. Toss all that shit on the ground. That. So that gets us up to four without even repairing it, which means it'll be five when we do repair it, to be clear. And it puts us at nine intelligence. Which is probably smarter than I am in real life. That's pretty dope. What did I just pick up? Uh, help. What have I done? Yeah, I'll figure it out. that on, put that on, put that on, and then I did keep, I don't know how long I have that one, I thought I kept a cloak of protection, I guess I did not, it's fine. What was the th other thing that I picked up? Uh, maybe I was just imagining things, whatever. Oh, also, I've got to do this. Did you just get hit by that trap? Are you dumb? He might be dumb. I'm gonna name him Cricket. Come on, Cricket. I've gotten emotionally invested in your survival now. That's not good for you. Or me. Hey, you got a good cloak for me, bud? I mean, it's a cloak. It's not useful at the moment, but it's a cloak. that, I think that's about all I really care about at the moment. At least in this area. Something just died over there. Was it you? Did you kill something? You doing a little murdering on the side without me? Gotta grab some torches here. How high my block skill and AC is, I can probably block the Minotaur at this point. Bruh. I mean, maybe not, but it's easier than you would think. Map. 